All right, I received my bag of Petrobon too uh, a couple days ago, and uh, here's how I got it. I have yet to pull it out of the box, and um, I'm gonna go through uh, mixing up my first batch. I think I'm gonna scale down the standard recipe down to um, basically by a tenth. That's Jake. So I'm going to do about 10 pounds of uh, sand to however many of Petrobon 2. I have the math done. I just got to go get the recipe. Anyway, um, I'm going to set this up on a tripod and uh, show you me measuring it out and mixing it up because that's fun. Okay, this cheap little uh, scale I've got here only measures out 7 pounds at a time. So what I'm going to do is um, I need 10 pounds of sand. So let's do it in a little pieces. We'll see if you can. So you still, even though it says it's graded and everything, you're still going to want to do this. Just to get the chunks out, because there are a few. Let's see? Garbage closer. Maybe a little tedious, but you'll live. Where are we at now? About two pounds? I see that. Still, though, it's not that bad of a step. I kind of wish I would have done this with the clay, too, last time, because that was um, pain in the ass getting all those little chunks broke up. Petrobon powder looks like right out of the bag. I need about a half pound of that. Oh, by the way, you want to wear a wet respirator when you're mixing this stuff up. Maybe not so much the clay, but the sand, the silica. And this stuff is a lot lighter than the sand, I'll tell you that. We'll get a little bit less pump cups. Yeah, look at that stuff, look how fine it is. I was wondering why the other stuff wasn't red. I knew Petrobon was red, I just figured maybe it was the additive or something. Nope, it's the clay. Oh shit. Am I there yet? Yeah, I think I'm a little bit over. just about perfect. And if you look at the scale I'm using, it's not exactly rocket science. I mean, the scale is the cheapest thing Walmart had to offer as far as the food scale went, and it's worked pretty pretty well so far. So this is um half pound of clay. And it's time to mix these. And you better believe I'm wearing a mask for this. Anyway, I probably won't show the mixing of it because well, actually, I will. Let me set the camera up. Okay, at this point it becomes work. Well, sort of. When I add the oil, it becomes work because then it turns to cookie dough. But right now it's just basically sand and clay I have yet to mix. Standard little paddle mixer I got from... from uh, Home Depot. All right, now this is hardly ideal. I need a molar, but it does work. Especially if you do it in small batches. And it's dusty as well. I'm trying out the 
get the RPMs too high. A lot of the dust settles down once you um, the dust settles down once you uh, once you add some oil. What you're trying to do is coat every grain of sand with um, with clay, basically just just you know mix them together as best as you possibly can. If I had a molar, this this would be a lot simpler of a job, but I don't yet. So I'm going to do this for, for a bit longer and you don't want to watch me do this forever. So I will come back once I've got the sand together and I've added some oil. I'll sh show you the cookie dough. Okay, so I've um, got that all mixed up. I poured about, not quite um, 100 milliliters in there. It calls for like 94 point something milliliters. What I do now is add maybe a quarter of it. Try not to get it on the sides. Get it all over the place. Yeah, that's about a quarter. And then continue mixing. Well, it's all in. So I'll show you once it's um about done. It's gonna take take a bit of time it takes me about 10-15 minutes to do this so I'll, uh, I'll come back in a second okay well we're five six minutes in I figured I'd show you the progress so far it is not much better than wet beach sand at this point um, pretty crumbly but there I'm in frame Let me get a handful It's not proper, properly mold either. But also, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you want to get this, um, let it sit as well. So I plan to mix it up for a full 10 minutes, let it sit, possibly overnight, come back to it tomorrow and I bet it's, um, it's quite thick. If not, um, I don't know, this is Petrobon too, I may end up having to add a little alcohol, I don't know. You're not supposed to with this stuff. It shouldn't need a catalyst, but we shall see. Um, so once she's cookie dough, I will come back. Okay, well, we're getting there. Um, a couple minutes later, and um, you can see that whatever chemical reaction is going on is, is going on. It's breaking cleanly. It's getting better and better as it goes. I haven't added anything to it. I stuck with the original recipe. I figured I'd do that. And if in 24 hours things didn't improve, and they are improving. Still not quite there yet, but I got a feeling um, by tomorrow this stuff will be about perfect. And it does, does break pretty well. I'm doing this one-handed, so you know. So I did not add alcohol, did not add any more uh, oil than, than I had in my recipe. Which, by the way, um, my scaled down recipe is... Um, 10 pounds of sand, half pound of Petrobon II, and about 95 milliliters of um, oil. No alcohol added. So this stuff is a slightly different animal than the standard Bentone 34, though. It's not the same thing. It's not as sticky. But then again, the stickiness of my other stuff could have been because I did the... I, I reduced two, twice, and I don't think I reduced twice on the oil. I just reduced twice on everything else. <clears throat> this stuff here, I just divided everything by ten and went with it. So, I'm going to continue 
messing with this for a little bit, even though it probably won't do any good. Um, I think it'll be fine by tomorrow. If it isn't now, honestly, I could probably ram up a mold. This is better than the green sand I had for ever. It's actually kind of awesome. Still a little crumbly. Um, but it is improving over time. So whatever acted as a catalyst in the last stuff, say I, when I did the K-Bond and I added the alcohol, it didn't immediately turn to cookie dough. It took it, it took it a little while for it to get up to pure, you know, it's, it's optimal strength, green strength. So I'm, I'm guessing this chemical reaction takes a little bit of time, which makes sense. So I'll let this stuff sit for a little bit, come back, mess with it some more, let it sit. Um, but yeah, I, I do need a sand molar. And right now I'm kind of stuck at the gear reduction. I've got motors. And um, <clears throat> I've got a garage door opener that may um, may work for a time anyway, if not for good, depending on how well it, it holds up. shaky. Anyway, um, not bad. Not bad. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. And I've got an ass load of it. So if anybody's interested, I may sell it off, you know, and say half pound increments or pound increments or whatever. I got 50 pounds of it and I'm not going to need 800 pounds of sand, which is what that will make, a little over 800 pounds. But I, I wouldn't mind having about three or 300 pounds that, that should get me through just about anything my crucible at this point can handle my crucible is a um, seven inch tall four inch diameter piece of steel pipe <clears throat> with a bit of quarter inch plate welded to the bottom of it and it's been holding up for quite some time i've got, also got a six inch and a four inch i almost always use a seven inch though, even though i don't need it i probably shouldn't wear it out anyway um yeah i'll get back to you tomorrow and um if things go well I will post this sucker and if things don't go well I'll post this sucker because I need to post more suckers yes yes you pushy little bastard yes I don't know what is up this cat's ass but something anyway good talking to you YouTube okay I did uh, two batches of this stuff that's both of them together I, I didn't have them together the whole time I was mixing them I swapped it off to a little coffee can so that I could do do them individually. Anyway, this is about 20 pounds of sand. And um, I didn't have to let it sit overnight, and I didn't really have to mull it a ton. But it's awesome stuff. I cannot wait to try this stuff. So I may ram up a pattern tonight, maybe make, make some motorcycle logos, I don't know. But um, look at that. Just go... <laughs> Awesome, awesome. And I have so much of this shit. So yeah, I used the um, the part number 1961 Quickrete. So Quickrete, fine white sand, part number 1961. A bag of Bentone 32 clay. And uh, that I got off eBay from uh, Budget Casting Supply. Even though that's not their name on eBay, but that's who it was. And then um, some Pennzoil Marine Premium Plus Two Cycle Outboard Oil. I'm not sure if that's the right shit or not, but honestly, I think it's going to work fine since I cast it with some uh, K Bond, not Petra Bond, K Bond sand, or clay. Same ratios of everything else, just substituting that plus a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. And uh, that worked great. So. There's no reason I, in my mind why this shouldn't too. So I'm not going to be satisfied till I have a whole five gallon bucket full of this stuff. But I want to cast, so I'm not going to make any more tonight. And I want to make sure it casts good before I, I go through it all, because I don't want to spend another 150 bucks for this, for the clay. Um. So yeah. Good stuff. 
does not want to fall apart. Imagine making sandcastles out of this stuff. <clears throat> so yeah, awesome, awesome. Um, mold by hand and drill and mixing paddle. And by the way, if you get one of these mixing paddles, you're gonna find that it does not chuck up in a sand or drill very easily, or if at, all, if at all, so you're going to need to turn the end down. I turned that end down on a, on a, on a lathe. Got chewed up now, but yeah. And um, also, you're going to want to run the drill in reverse so that it wants to suck down to the bottom of the pan. You know, see how the screwing action works? Otherwise, you're just going to be pressing and pressing and pressing, trying to get it to go together. Um, to be honest, I think that most of the mulling is done on the chemical level. I bet you if I would have just mixed the sand and the clay together, put the oil in, make sure it was mixed in, and got over everything, um, and then just let it set, it would have turned into this regardless whether I decided to knead it by hand or not, which I did do. I kneaded it by hand like dough. And it does seem to be getting better over time too. So yeah, I'm going to cover this up tonight, see how it is tomorrow. I bet you it's similar if not a little better. And um, I'll probably do my casting tomorrow. I don't know if I feel like doing that tonight. i got other stuff i got to do. So anyway, YouTube, uh, thank you for your interest. And um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.